This is one fried rice that really packs a punch. And yes, my friends, tin tuna, star of the show. <laughs> and a lot of chili. This is my spicy tuna fried rice. So I would hazard a guess that there are quite a few stray tins of tuna lying about the place in pantries all over the world at the moment. Uh, and if you are sick of tuna pasta or tuna sandwiches just like I am, then I have got a very special recipe for you. We're going to make a spicy tuna fried rice. And do you know what? So super tasty and you won't even feel like you're trying to use up that tuna in the pantry. <laughs> all right, so let's get going with the eggy omelette first of all. So just need two eggs. Give them a whisk. So when your pan's hot, add in some oil and in go the eggs. All right, so I'm looking for a set omelette here. I just like to kind of swirl it around, push that egg around so it cooks a little quicker. And then once everything kind of looks set on the top, uh, you just want to flip it over. Oh, look at that beautiful golden colour. Mm, even just a simple Asian omelette always makes me so happy. Okay, so I want to get this out and we're just going to sort of slice and dice pretty rough. And that is our omelette done for the fried rice. Now the next thing I want to do is make a little garlicky spicy paste because of course we're making a spicy tuna fried rice here. So I need some garlic and some bird's eye chilies. These are the fiery ones. Now pound the garlic lightly first of all so we can get rid of those skins. Now they come off really easily. It just saves another step of peeling the garlic with a knife. And now just pound a little more and you can take those chili stems out. Okay, so I've got the spicy part down with these bird's eye chilies, but I kind of want a little bit more red color to my spicy fried rice. So I'm gonna add some of these milder chilies. So these are just gonna give us a beautiful red color without like making the heat too overpowering, which is never overpowering for me, but you know, there's other people in my family that don't want it quite as hot as me. <laughs> and because these are quite bulky, I will just cut them up a little. All right, they go in the mortar. And then you just want kind of like a rough paste here. We don't have to be too fine dining about this. All right, so this is the situation that we're after here. A bit chunky, a bit rough around the edges. Okay, one last thing to do, and that is make our little stir fry sauce. Really simple, I just want some oyster sauce. Some fish sauce. And some sugar. All right, one last thing to chat about before we get into the pan, and that is our rice. And I cook this rice the day before. I always just, like any good Asian, <laughs> make way more rice than I need because that's what my mum always told me to do. So I've always got the kind of cold rice sitting in the fridge. If you don't though, I do have a video on how to make rice just for fried rice on my channel, so you can look that up. Um, but let's get in here and start cooking. I've got a little bit of oil left in my pan from when I fried the egg, that's all good. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Okay, so when that's nice and hot, I wanna add in our chili garlic paste. Now, if you're a little sensitive here, you might wanna open up the windows or something. <laughs> Could be some coughing. You know, spicy and oil, that's just what happens. Oh, I love how spicy that smells, yum. And now I wanna go in with my onion. All right, so I've got some drained tuna here. That's gonna go in as well. All right, now I'm gonna add in my rice. And our stir fry sauce. And now you just wanna give that a really good mix, break the rice up, make sure that all, you know, each and every grain is getting some love from that sauce. And now we can put the eggs in, because I didn't wanna put them in earlier, I didn't want them to break up too much. I want some nice chunks of egg in there. Okay, now that is looking really glorious. I love that red pop of color from the chili and 
sunshine, yellow egg, ah, oh, all of it, just divine. And who would have known that, you know, something as simple as a can of tuna could inspire such deliciousness. All right, let's get this out into a bowl. All right, so you could get all fancy here and finish off with some spring onion, some coriander, like some fresh herbs. We're going minimalistic for this one. Uh, but for me, because my mum's from Thailand and in Thailand we always have lime with our fried rice, non-negotiable for me is a little wedge of lime. So there we go, spicy tuna fried rice. I mean, you know, things in cans can be wonderful. <laughs> Let's squeeze some lime on here and have a look. Mm. You know, for me, fried rice is like the ultimate comfort food. And this has all the things that I love about a fried rice. Beautiful tender rice grains, um, lots of spicy kick, uh, and then little creamy bits of egg. And that tuna, so delicious in here. Oh. Mm. Stella, just loving it. This is like one of the greatest things you can do with your tin of tuna that's sitting in your pantry. Don't let it go to waste. Make fried rice instead. Mm.